It's here. It's here. What are you raving about this time? This. It's here. What is? You don't know what I'm talking about? No. What is it this time? It's here. Is that? Is that what I think it is? It's here. and welcome back to my channel and of course if you're new here welcome baby i'm very glad you're here if it isn't already obvious enough in this box i hold my macbook pro it's here and today i'm going to be opening it with you guys because this is a very important milestone in the history of my channel and it's just too important for me not to share it with you guys i never thought i'd see the day where i'd be opening up and unboxing a macbook i know i know i know but that day is here. I have spent two years, two years editing and uploading and filming on my phone, which is so, so tiresome. Well, imagine how tired we are. Like, it's taken its toll, and the time has finally come for me to upgrade from a phone to a MacBook Pro. I'm so excited to open this, you have no idea. But before I do, if you guys could do me a huge, huge favor, don't think I forgot. If you could please like this video subscribe to my channel and of course watch to the end of this video this is the most money i've spent like ever where are my scissors here they are i'm sitting on them i didn't break my bank but there is a dent <laughs> but this is the scratch that i needed because i have been well overdue for an upgrade for a long time now as y'all know in my last video i had some problems that caused me to lose some of my footage and it was that very moment in time when i was like yeah i can't keep doing this and i broke in and i ordered this macbook pro I feel like this is all over the place. No, I dropped my scissors. I think this is the one time you guys will ever see me open something carefully with scissors. I spent way too much money for me to just go jabbing and poking and stabbing the box like a wild maniac like I normally do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's in this box. It's in this box. Let's see here. Okay, so this is my receipt with all my incriminating info on it. MacBook Pro, 13 inch, Core i5, tested for full functions. Ready for usage. I can feel it, I can feel it. Brown paper, more brown paper. White box. White box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> actually get out the frame <laughs> okay so it's in this box um before y'all ask where's the apple logo this is a refurbished macbook i know i get paid now but not that much honey no 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 i'm what they like to call balling on a budget and this was my budget this is a refurbished macbook so it's not exactly new but it ain't exactly old either. It's basically been repaired and fixed and basically put back to brand new. It's not pre-owned or anything, at least I don't think it is. Okay. So, uh, you're probably wondering what's inside this box. That was inside that other box. I'm wondering that too, so we're gonna go ahead and open it. I told you I'm not a good influence with scissors. I'm literally about to poke my eye out, but whatever. Here, hold this. I'll, I'll take it back in a minute. Just hold it for right now, okay? Gosh. Uh, wait, wait. Don't go nowhere just yet. Wait right there. Just, just wait. Wait right there. This security tape's got it packed pretty tight. Hmm. All right. Anyways, okay. Here's the other piece. There you go. There you go. You're welcome. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna try to hold it the best that I can, but this is kind of heavy, Loki, and my arms are really weak. Oh, oh, I'm opening it the wrong way. Oh shoot. <laughs> um, other way. You know what? I, I don't know how you open this. I see it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see an Apple logo. I see an Apple logo. Um, this is the, this is the adapter. Like the, the, the thing you charge it with. 
this is what that is. It's really heavy to, oh, oh, this is thick. This is thick. Look at how thick this is. See how thick the box is? That's thick. <laughs> and then of course, this is what we've all been waiting for, myself included. <gasps> It came on, yo. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing that means it's like loading up or rebooting or whatever it has to do. This is like when I got a new phone. This is so exciting. Got a MacBook, yo. Got a MacBook. It's a MacBook. It's a book. It's a Mac. Ooh. She booting up or whatever. Oh, I think she done. Now it's asking me to register. You see that? You see that? Now we in the setup process. Okay, now. Terms and conditions. Read it all. Da, 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 da. I agree. I have read and agreed to the Mac OS software license agreement. Yeah, okay. Create a computer account. Okay. Full name. Now be a Powell. Yeah. Yeah. It's creating my account. Oh, it's even got that thing where you know how you can do the light mode and the dark mode on your iPhone? You can do that on here too, yo, look. See that? Where it's asking me if I want to do the light mode or the dark mode or the auto mode? I'm having a ball! Let's do auto. Setting up your Mac. I can't believe this. I can't believe I bought this. I bought it! Me! I bought it! Look around, look around you. Look at this. We created this. And now here we are at the home screen. See that? That's the home screen. So, I'm I'm pretty satisfied at the moment. I think I made a good choice. I'm gonna go get to know my MacBook for a little while, and then I'm gonna come back later on this evening and give you guys the spiel about how it's working, all the functions and stuff, all of that. Just all the good stuff, all the good stuff. So, yeah. Okay, it's time for some bonding time. BRB. Child, it's been three days. <laughs> <laughs> Last week has been a fairly busy week for me compared to what I usually do during the week, which is just sleep, eat, film, and edit. For starters, I released a two-part Q&A, which by the way, <laughs> if you'd like, after you finish watching this video, if you want to go check it out, I'll put the links to it in the description box and at the end cards at the end of this video. <laughs> Why am I talking like this? But if not, that's fine too. It's not like I spent two weeks working on it. Um, That's embarrassing. We're not gonna talk about that. So I haven't really had much time to get acquainted with my MacBook until today. Today, it was rainy and I had nowhere to go, nowhere to be, nothing to do except edit this video. And that's what I did. But before I could even do that, um, iMovie. iMovie on the MacBook, I don't know if you guys knew this, but iMovie on the MacBook, way more complex than the iMovie on the iPhone. Just in case you, you don't know that if you use iMovie on your iPhone and you've never like looked up iMovie on a MacBook or seen any of the MacBook tutorials, honey. If you get a MacBook, when you get a MacBook, we're gonna say when so we can speak it into existence. Manifestation. Before you start using iMovie, I know you're gonna go into it thinking, um, I know what I'm doing. I don't need to watch this tutorial. Yes, you do. It's way more complex than you think. Now, not so complex to the point where you can't figure it out. Like, oh my God, this is such a foreign language. Why would they teach this shit? What, what the fuck is this? Not that bad. Not that bad. If anything, I think it's actually easier than editing on the iPhone because of all the keyboard shortcuts. But yeah, I spent like an hour or so maybe watching like five or six iMovie tutorials on how to edit before I actually started editing this video. She's making a video about her MacBook while editing it on her MacBook phone. But yeah, after I finished watching the tutorials, then I got straight to work because I'm a busy gal. And overall, I can definitely say that I made the right choice. It works great, it works way faster than on my iPhone and I can do so much more, which I love. I don't know why I keep dramatizing my voice because I can, I can put audio filters and stuff over it now so I don't have to keep doing the bootlegged filters naturally like I've been doing but I don't think I'm gonna stop doing that because 
I've gotten so used to it. Like, editing on this, it makes it so much more enjoyable. Like, hold on. I gotta log in to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> mm, sorry. I wasn't prepared. What do you mean wrong password? Shit. Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I know. Of an eye movie. Okay. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I almost hit delete project. <laughs> wonderful weather we're having but anyways but yeah just editing on this makes it like so much more enjoyable like see how vibrant <laughs> almost dropped it do you see how vibrant this screen is i feel like a professional which is how i deserve to feel because i've been doing this for two years now okay put some respect on my name and it cuts my editing time nearly in half if it still takes me forever to edit now, the only reason is because of me and my procrastination and my short attention span because I have the mind of a squirrel. <laughs> now there was something that I wasn't going to show you guys earlier because I was kind of like debating about it in my head. Like I showed it on camera, but I cut it out at the beginning. Like notice at the beginning of this video, y'all didn't really see that or you might have saw it, but you might not have said anything or you might have said something just not in the comments. Or you know what, you might have said something in the comments and I probably saw it and I just want to tell you right now, that hurt. Or thank you, e either way, either, either way, I don't know. This laptop did have a few scratches on it. Oh yeah, and there used to be one of these things right there, but um, somewhere between the three days I was gone, it kind of fell off somewhere and I have no idea where it went. But it still sits up pretty fine. Like you honestly, you don't really need these, they're just for decoration or whatever. But yeah, it does have a few scratches on it and I'm gonna insert the clips here of where I show y'all what the scratches look like and like, there were like a few minor dents maybe so like i know it's refurbished but like there's a whole lot of scratches all over it though while it's loading i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about where it's got like scratches and stuff on it so like up here and then like around the edges and stuff you can see where like it's been used before and stuff now see, I was debating on showing that part because I knew if I did that some of y'all or a lot of y'all would get in the comments and be like, oh, yo computer raggedy, you raggedy for buying that computer. And me and my MacBook are very sensitive, ain't that right? And I didn't know if I was ready to be clowned for that. But at the same time, this is technically kind of a review video and what kind of reviewer would I be if I didn't show y'all the full, full, full package of what you're paying for? This is not a new MacBook. It's just not. I ain't got the money to spend a thousand dollars on a fresh MacBook at the Apple store. I, don't, I just don't, okay? I am balling on a budget. And my budget didn't calculate spending a thousand dollars on a laptop. To be honest, it really didn't calculate spending money on a laptop at all for at least another year or so. But things happen. And besides, I don't really care about the scratches or the dents. Like, I mean, I did at first, like you could tell in my facial expression in the clip that I just showed you. Like, come on now. But at the same time, you learn to accept its flaws. Like people, nobody's perfect. We all have our flaws, but at the end of the day, you either take it or you leave it like if it's all you have the money for and it still serves the same purpose as a new one would why not why would i go out and spend a thousand dollars on a brand new macbook when this one even though that she's already had her signs of fair share of love and care does the exact same thing is there any logical reason no it doesn't exist and on top of that my phone it made me realize that this channel and my passion for making videos was getting pretty serious and that even though my head was telling me nah girl you don't need no macbook you fine you're just fine keep struggling my heart was telling me treat yourself you deserve it you reached 10k you literally get paid now you can reimburse yourself do it i have truly gotten to that stage where i have a lot more that i want to do with my videos and there's a lot more that i want to do in the future and a cell phone can just not take me there it's gotten me here which i'm grateful for and i appreciate but this is where the road divides i'm kind of over the simplicity it's been giving me this past two years i enjoyed it at first it was a nice little ride a nice little ride to the bus stop but now we've reached the bus. The bus that's gonna take us to God knows where, so. 
Yeah. Oh my God, this is so emotional. I can't, she's parting from her phone. This is so freaking emotional. I'm not exactly like parting ways with my phone. I'm just not editing on it anymore. I still have to film with it. Yeah, I still gotta use it to film because I don't have a camera. Who knows when I'll get a camera to be honest. Like I, I don't really anticipate getting that either, but I didn't anticipate getting this either. So there's no telling when I could upgrade to that next. Like. <laughs> Anything is possible now. Literally anything is possible. But anyways, um, what were we saying? If you are a YouTuber or a fellow video maker, or you just like computers and you want to upgrade from iMovie to iMovie Pro, I definitely recommend getting the MacBook Pro. I got mine from Walmart, like the actual website. It has its flaws, like I said in my little speech, but only on the outside, not on the inside. Um, if you guys want something to compare this to, we're gonna compare it to my mother's laptop, which I don't use for editing, but it's pretty old compared to this one. Which one is better, do I think? Definitely this one. Okay, this one takes at least 15 minutes to boot up, 20 minutes to open up a Chrome tab, and then don't even get me started if you actually try to do any editing or anything on there. I've never even tried that because just it's it's not it's not built for it. It's it's built different. You you don't want to do that with this. You want to do that with this. Okay. I also recommend buying refurbished if you are trying to save money. This is the best way to go, in my opinion. Flaws on the outside, but the inside is divine. Is there anything else you would like to add? And yes, I talk to inanimate objects because I have a feeling that they have feelings too. And if we exclude them, they're gonna like get revenge on us in my sleep. So this is the final pan shot of what it looks like. This is the inside. This is the outside, but because of the lighting, you can't really see all the scratches and stuff from earlier, which is a good sign. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go finish this video and airdrop it to my macbook pro and start editing and get this video out hopefully very very soon okay love you good night sleep tight and let the bed bugs bite and don't let the inanimate objects talk shit about you in your sleep sleep well forgot to finish the video sorry <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of this video. If you liked it, please let me know by liking this video, leaving a comment, and of course subscribing to my channel. And of course, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I will see you guys next time with another video. Have a great morning, such afternoon, such evening, such whatever time you watch this, and I thank you for doing so. Good night and bye-bye. So give it all.